Hello there, YouTube, and ho ho ho, it is almost Christmas, and I am Domino. Welcome to episode 80 of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. This is what is perhaps the final hour of power, depending on what happens when we get to episode 90 and episode 100. This could very well wind up being our final hour of power. In the last episode, we finished up the four different routes in um, Rainbow Rocket Headquarters by taking on... Uh, surprisingly, we took on Lysander, and he had a couple of things on our team that were a surprise when they hit us, uh, we, but we barely managed to get through that. If you do want to check out that episode, click the i-card up at the top of the screen to head there. In today's episode, we're going to be finishing up everything in the Rainbow or episode Rainbow Rocket, and if we have time, we're going to be continuing towards what I imagine is going to be the Battle Tree. I think that's where we're going to head. So if you're excited for an hour of power, make sure you hit the like button down below. And if you want to become a member of the Domination, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. Let's go ahead and start off with a team recap. We'll do a full team recap. Why not? First up, we have Oblivion, our tank. Our level 64 Komo'o with Dragon Claw, Sky Uppercut, Poison Jab, and Clanging Scales holding the leftovers. Then we have Buttons, our starter, the level 64 Decidueye, with Leaf Blade, Energy Ball, Spirit Shackle, and Brave Bird holding the Decidium Z. Next up we have Frisco, our mascot, the level 64 Oracorio, with Air Slash, Revelation Dance, Teeter Dance, and Hurricane, with Sharp Beak to power up those couple flying type moves. Next up we have Brock, the image of ourselves, our level 65 Alolan Golem, with Rock Slide, Thunder Punch, Heavy Slam, and Stone Edge holding the Hard Stone to power up those rock type moves. Then we have Fruit Punch, our favorite, the Kid, our level 64 Weavile, with Ice Punch, Poison Jab, Slash, and Punishment holding the Scope Lens. He ain't trying to get hit by nothing, he ain't trying to get killed, he is dodging everything. Then we have Aru Kenimon, the Hacks Goddess herself, our level 64 Araquanid with Leech Life, Liquidation, Poison Jab, and Crunch, holding the Watery MZ. Alright. Oblivion is our best choice of leads. Let's get it. Well, I was not expecting this, and I don't have a voice for him. Is his voice... Should I imagine him as like a super low evil voice? Well now, what do we have here? I come out wondering what all the commotion is, only to find the door to the center of the castle ajar and intruders running wild. It seems those team leaders from other worlds are not nearly as useful as I had hoped. Who are you? Where's my mother? You haven't harmed her, have you? Mother, you say? I see. You're the daughter of the president. My name is Getsis. I am representing Team Plasma. I too was summoned from another world, much like the other leaders you've defeated. There is no need to worry. You will find the president up ahead, blissfully asleep and dreaming. Mother! Ah, not so fast. Please, get out of my way! Unfortunately, I cannot let you go beyond this point. You see, I have been thinking long and hard about the reason I have been sent to this world. And now, I believe I finally have the answer. My purpose is to travel between the worlds, freeing all Pokemon from foolish people. At the same time, consolidate all the power in all the worlds to myself. In order to achieve this beautiful ideal, however, I have need of a useful pawn. And that man, the leader of Team Rocket, is a man of pure evil. This voice is hard to do. Oh my gosh, I'm getting lightheaded. If I can make good use of him and set him up as a king, I shall be able to reign supreme above all existence. I have found that humans, with their predictable ambitions, are easier to use and control than to a freak without a human heart. I wouldn't do... It wouldn't do at all to have... It wouldn't do at all to have you get in his way, especially when I must establish him as my king. But he's trying to make him as N. Must you insist on interfering with my plans? Very well then, all obstacles to my ambitions must be removed. Was not expecting this. In my head, I thought that Cyrus and Getsis would alternate depending on if you were playing Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. I was wrong.
I'm assuming he has a Zekrom. I'm just assuming that he has a Zekrom because... What does that do? It switches our their attack? Ouch, that's bad. That was a crit, too. Oh my gosh. Let's switch to Aru Kenny. I just have to make sure I switch out. Ooh, yes. Okay, great. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out, take... Oh, gosh, that did nothing. I really was not expecting this. That's okay, I guess. This whole episode is just going to be... Uh, I guess this whole episode will just be... Episode RR. What the heck is... Why is Kofagriga so strong? Holy cow! Get out of here, please! Fish sharp, I will switch. We're doing good so far, but they... If this was like a, a showdown battle, he's already seen, what, three, four of our Pokemon now? He said, Shing, Sparkle, Sparkle, get this thing out of here. One shot. Oko, goodbye. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you, Getsis. You don't just get in front of me as I'm trying to walk up a, a room and get this over here trying to... Ooh, Hydreigon. Hydreigon? I should have stayed in and used... I thought that... My brain thought that was Drudagon. Look at this! What? The fifth gen Pokemon? Hydreigon is faster than me? A surprise. Got it! Okay, I was wondering. I was like, Frisco has not gotten a freeze in a while. Woo! Wait, what did I say? Fruit Punch has not gotten a freeze in a while. I think I said Frisco. I don't know why. Everyone's almost level 65, right on time, too. Bufalon. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. This guy's gonna have all 5th gen Pokemon. Right? Hydreigon. Is Hydreigon 5th gen? There's a 4th gen. Look at this thing! Afro! That's gonna hurt a lot! I like how it spun me around. That was funny. Jeez, that did 70%? 75%? Hey. I have not missed a Sky Uppercut in a minute. That's a well-trained Komo'o right there. Oh. I might be in trouble. I might be in some trouble. Woo! Oh, I was hoping I would go first. I'm dead. Oh, I held on. Hit up that clanging scales. Let's go. Oh! Now, Oblivion, if you want to hang on again, that would be wonderful. But I'm going to assume that you're going to fall. 
Wow. Let's claim scales it again. Blue flare? That doesn't do anything. You lucky. You lucky I'm going easy on you. That's not gonna do as much as I want it to. Um Full Stone Edge? You super Jesus! Through the burn! Brock says, nope. Here's a crit for you. He says, nope. Dang. Brock is our strongest Pokemon right now. Look at these stats. He's about to hit 200 attack. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't have been defeated by some random trainer from who knows where. From here, bro. What? I created Team Plasma with my own hands. I'm absolutely perfect. I am perfection. I am the perfect ruler of a perfect new world. You lost. Now please step aside. This cannot be possible. I will not accept this. Ah! What did you do? Mwahaha! No, 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 no! You don't get it, do you? I can't be defeated! I won't be! It cannot be allowed! You, tiny intruder! If you value this girl's life, throw aside all your Pokeballs at this moment! You, you cowardly Domino, please don't listen to him! Shut your mouth! What's this? Your Pokeballs are shaking! Could it be that they're shaking with rage? No matter, throw away your Pokeballs right this instant! Heck no! Were you not listening, or did you simply not understand? There leave me no choice! This girl must... Hmm. See, you're still dedicated to your own desires, Getsus. You, you It's been a while. Ah! I, I, I know what voice I want to do here. I'm gonna try it. Miss Lily, it's good to see you again. We ran into each other in the lab, perhaps you recall. Mr. Chorus? And you, Domino. We meet again. Miss Wick had sent word that you may need assistance. I have to forgive my rudeness, but I followed your trail using an invisibility device I recently invented. It seems Getsis here has caused you quite some trouble. Though it appears that Getsis is from a different world than the one I know. Of course, the corpus of this world, but you, have no, you should have no reason to meddle with my plans. Oh, please. I simply despise you, Getsis. That's enough reason for me. What's this? What's this? My body is being pulled! No! no! Wow! Oh my gosh. All these thoughts! It seems like repeatable use is not a problem, even with the prototype. I should have known Chorus Machine number 1102 would work. Thank you for helping us, Mr. Chorus. But what did you do to that man? I simply adjusted his dimensional channel, if you will. It sent him back to his original world. But Getsis is a man with power to match his ambition. Ooh. He is not someone to be taken lightly. I can only hope that the taste of defeat will keep that Getsis out of trouble in this world. Y yes! But turning Aether Paradise back to its original form, with the different worlds mixing together, that won't be easy even for me. There is tremendous power of evil at the center of the castle. We can remove that man's twisted desires. The chorus machine should be able to revert everything back to normal. You mean Team Rocket's boss? Even if we can do something about him, everything will be fixed? Indeed, Miss Lily. You're a very sharp young lady. I would like to study this castle, however, so I leave the rest to you two. Woo! I am, I am lightheaded. I am super lightheaded. Ah! I know these voices that I want to do for a couple of these guys. Excuse me. I know the voices I want to do for a couple of these guys, but I don't just want to blatantly copy other people's voices for them. That's not my style. And here we are. Oh my gosh, he's completely changed even here. Mother's going to be the first word. Mother! Oh gosh. Well, well. I've been affirmed to the intruders, but not that they were kids like you. I'd allowed the other bosses to do as they wished, hoping they would be of use. But it seems you have defeated all of them. I'm impressed you got here. So you, you're Team Rainbow Rockets? Indeed. 
Team Rocket's goal was to use all Pokemon and control the world. But now I have a bigger, bigger organization. Team Rainbow Rocket. Woo! And I, Giovanni, am its leader. Mother, are you okay? Mother, please answer. The president will not awaken for some time. I've used the power of that Ultra Beast to make her sleep. And when she awakens next, she will be a loyal servant to my will. What? How? How could you? Team Rainbow Rocket will conquer all worlds. We will build an army of Ultra Beasts. But in order for this precious dream to be realized, we need the technology of Aether Foundation. The technology of other worlds. But I also appreciate the skill it took you to get this far. I like those who show strength. Why not put that strength to good use in my Team Rainbow Rocket? I saved. Yes! I will join! Ha! You are calm enough to joke, I see. I do joke often. Having a kid stand in front of me is like, like this. Such a thing should never happen. But for some reason, it also makes me feel nostalgic. If you insist on disrupting my plans, I will make you feel a world of pain. Oh, crap. He's gonna destroy us. <laughs> He's gonna completely destroy us. Oh my gosh, I don't wanna do this. I don't have a Doug Trio to start. Hey. Sent out a Doug Trio to start. Level 68. Oh, he's setting up. This boy playing the long game. Hold the phone. Giovanni. My guy. Oh my gosh. He set up rocks and sandstorm. All right, that's fine. I'll just tr I'll try and switch into Brock if I can cuz he won't take damage. I guess I technically won't be taking any damage either. Nitto King, okay? Water is gonna be cut down, so let's go into Frisco. I'll use some Revelation damage. Shown a consistent sandstorm like this? Also, shout out to you, Frisco. Nice job. Frisco grows to level 65. I'm ready for whatever you got. If we go under the assumption that every person in here has a legendary, then I think I know what we're going to face. I'm a little, I'm a little scared, but, oh, gosh, I don't know why, but something about Rhyperior, I'm dead. All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, I got this, I got this. Sky Uppercut. How did I avoid... Let me talk about that. How did I avoid an earthquake? Giovanni does refresh, apparently. Shoot. Can this sandstorm go away? Oblivion, can you dodge one more earthquake? Just like jump. Be high. Now! Shoot. Is Frisco still alive?
Can Sandstorm go away, please? Let's go Frisco, teeter dance. That's right, that's right. Give a little jig, give a little jig, give a little jig. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Yes! Sandstorm subsided and everything. That's what I needed. You snapped out of confusion? How did you snap out of confusion so fast? Yes! I guess uh, Frisco's going to go down. Frisco didn't even move! Didn't even move! Hit that jig! Hit that jig! Hit that jig! Hit that jig! Ah! 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 Yeah! Ah! Yeah! No! No! Ouch! Rhyperior speed compared to our Kenimon speed. forget that Buttons was here? Is it just me? Am I the only one that forgot about Buttons? I know people were yelling at me. This goes dead. Shoot. I mean, and see how much I'll do. Ice Punch will still be super effective. Look at Nitto Queen! Oh, I love Nitto Queen. Such a cool Pokemon. Live one. Live one Earthquake. Live one Earth. Not living. That was a live. That wasn't even a hax. Alright, I didn't forget Buttons was here for this next Pokemon. Oh my god, it actually says Mewtwo. Don't die! Yes! Hold on with one! Hit this Z move! I don't care! Show him what you got! <laughs> Hit him! Hit him hard! He just mega evolved on me! I knew Giovanni had Mewtwo! I didn't know he had Mega Mewtwo Y! End him! Right now! I want it all gone. That's right, Buttons! Oh my god. Ha! That was a truly intense fight. A Mega Mewtwo Y? That's wild. Holy crap. I see you have raised your Pokemon with the utmost care. 
It will be foolish to fight such a kid with all my might. Ha, huh, very well. I will leave Aether Paradise in your hands. But remember, my team Ramble Rocket will never fail. Never forget that. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. No! It took all the cool away and put back the blandness! The Chorus Machine has been activated and it restored the mansion to its original form. Which means you've done it. You defeated Team Rocket. Mr. Chorus and Mr. Guzma! It took you long enough! A trainer such as you, who can bring out Pokemon's power through your bonds, it must have been easy. Easy? I used like 15 revives in this place! The defeat of Team Rocket's boss seems to have sent everyone who had come with him back to their own worlds. As for me, I have decided on the next theme of my research. Well then, I hope to see you again sometime. Mr. Chorus, he's truly a great scientist, he's a truly great scientist, isn't he? Though he's also very strange. Don't just open your eyes. Okay, thank you. Okay, when she opened her eyes, she at least looked drowsy. She didn't understand. Where am I? Lily and Domino. Madam Prez! Mother! Six voices at once, let's go. Domino defeated Team Rocket for us. What? He did? It must have been terribly dangerous. He did, it was really amazing. Well, Domino, it seems you saved the day once again. I am truly grateful. Mr. Faba! Get out of here! No! 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 Freaking buttons! Go! Get him! Get him! Sinister Arrow Raid! On him! On him! Como O! Clanking Scales! Weavile! Ice Punch! Araquanid! Arukenimon! Hydro Vortex! Rock! Stone Edge! Who else is on my team? The Krosma! Go! <laughs> President, I'm glad you're safe! I still feel a little dizzy, but what of you, Faba? Are you unhurt? Oh yes, of course! No need to worry yourself about me, Mr. President. I'm just glad you're safe. No. Get him! Get him! Oh! Then now, Miss Lily, you must be a little rattled from all the confusion and chaos caused by Team Rainbow Rocket. I would never do such a thing as betray the Foundation and invite Team Rainbow Rocket in just to advance my career. Please, please, get him, get him. Branch Chief Faba? I, I'm sorry. No, get him. That makes me so mad. I hate Faba so much. Oh my gosh, I hate Faba so much. Oh, Domino, thank you very much for your assistance in saving Aether Paradise. Mother's in the medical room now. They're running some checks, but it seems she is going to be fine. Oh, and about Mr. Faba. Come on, Faba, put your back into it. Arr, why must I be the one doing menial, mundane chores? Come on, intern Faba. We don't have all day. That's right. You look at it. Intern, please don't call me by that title. I don't think he will return to the position of branch chief anytime soon. Oh, and before I forget, here, take these. Why 55? I imagine Team Rainbow Rocket planned to use those as funding. They hit a whole bunch in the President's Room. They're all yours. Hey, Miss Wick, please help me just a little. Oh, right away. I will see you later. I love Wick. Either Paradise is back to business as usual. It's all thanks to you, Domino. I was worried about Mother. And just terrified of those Team Rocket people. But to be honest, having another adventure with you, Domino, it was a lot of fun. 
I really, really am grateful. When I do my own island challenge, it would be great if I could do it with you, Domino. But I guess now it's time for me to go. I'll see you again soon. Well, well, I'm only halfway through my hour of power. What do I do now? Ha! That boy has some quite has some talent. Now, what new world shall I unleash my evil schemes upon? He has full control over Wormhole. That scene right there makes me think this is not the last time that we see him. As far as like in the Pokemon world. I wonder if the first game on the Switch is gonna be a flashback to N1 again. Are we just gonna go with the Giovanni as the Are we just gonna go with Giovanni as the Whoa. What was that? Anyway, are we going to go with, like, Giovanni is just, like, the master bad guy of the Pokemon universe? Well, I'm afraid that little ker kerfuffle, kerfuffle we went through resulted in my demotion. I am turning over a new leaf and beginning over as one of rank and file. When all is said and done, I feel like I've become a completely different person in mind and body. Could the new and improved Fabo request a battle with you? I'd rather not. No, does my new and improved fo No, Faba. It's just that I've been battling in here for a long time. Master Domino, welcome back. Master Gladion left to travel to Kanto and Johto, so far away from here. Yes, that's right. He went to defeat trainers like you, young Domino, and Master Howe. He chose to go on a journey to train himself rather than take part in Alola's Island Challenge. If you do the same thing as everyone else, it is unlikely you will surpass them. I think Master Gladion just remembered the tale... Must remember the tale I have told him of catching Pokemon in regions like Kanto and have been inspired to action. Oh, I'm sorry, you probably aren't interested in hearing about this sort of thing, are you here? Please accept this. She's doing something with Hal. Take another, too. She's doing something with Hal. I'll be returning to the conservation area to look after the Pokemon. All right. This is wild. My thoughts on episode Rainbow Rocket. Freaking sweet. I liked it a lot. I really, really did. I really liked it a lot. The fact that, like... They're going out with a bang, and all of the leaders from all of the Pokemon games, all of the different regions were here. They had succeeded in their world, which meant that they had their legendaries. They had their legends, which is a really cool... just makes it that much more difficult and that much more story. I really liked it. 
Okay, here we go. As I said, since we finished up Team Rainbow Rocket, or Episode RR, uh, we are now going to head off. There will be more battles, for sure. As we continue to progress through the world of Alola. I should go back and talk to Mom. I w I've been thinking it the whole time, just sitting here like, I should go back and talk to Mom. I should go back and talk to Mom. I should go back and talk to Mom. Also, before the big grinding episode, I did come back and talk to Kukui and pick up the lucky egg. Did you put these boxes away? Am I supposed to believe that my entire adventure took place in one day? Let's see if Kukui has anything special to say to us now that we've beaten the whole game. Oh, Domino! You look well. I saw you 15 minutes ago. Hey there, champion! You know how the rad Z moves are, yeah? Yep. So those Z crystals you collected on your island challenge are coming in handy. But where does the awesomeness of Z moves come from? That's been one of the themes of my research into Pokemon moves. It all starts with your Z power ring, yeah? Forged from the sparkling stone you got straight from Tapu Koko. When you use your Z crystals, it brings you and your Pokemon together. Yes, it seems that some sort of invisible bond is created between a trainer and their Pokemon. Yeah, a trainer sends their physical and mental energy, and their Pokemon are surrounded by an aura. So, what is it that allows a trainer to send power to a Pokemon? Z power ring. Yeah, it's that Z power ring made from a refined sparkling stone that catches a trainer's power into light and gives their Pokemon an aura. Then there is this light pouring into Alola from the ultra wormhole that Lunala opened up. That's an important point. Could sparkling stones have also come through the ultra wormhole and landed here in Alola? Long, long ago, Necrozma lost part of its body. At least that's what the Ultra Recon Squad said. If you combine my theory with what we've heard from Ultra Recon Squad, the Sparkling Stones themselves might be that part of Necrozma's body that it lost. If that's the case, then Necrozma... When it's with you, Domino, it can get back part of itself that was once lost. It might be a theory, but you are one awesome trainer, Domino. And Necrozma, in its own way, is an awesome Pokemon. I heard about it from... I heard about it from Colrus, yeah. He told me you can give Lunala's light to Necrozma. Yes, and then Necrozma can change back into that brilliant form. I've old, heard old stories about how Necrozma was driven back by the light, but maybe people were... Oh crap, wrong voice. But maybe people were just giving it the light it needed. Someday I hope I can use a Z-move with a Pokemon too. Alright, thanks to my assistant, yeah, and the champion himself, Domino. Oh yeah, I was finally able to unlock one piece of the Z-move puzzle. Woo! But the mechanism of exactly how Z-move worked... Z-Move's work remains shrouded in mystery, yeah. I'm still counting on both of you to help me figure it all out. What was that three minute conversation we just had? I still feel like he was supposed to give me something. Oh yeah, I've got something solid for you, cousin. Okay, thank you. I don't get it. I mean, cool, I guess I did something while I was there. Got substitute. Yay. Anyway. Now, here we go. Boros. Jar. Boss! Boss! Here we go. So, next goal 
is to get all the way. All the way. The battle tree. Oh, almost everyone. Almost everyone. Come on. That means we got battles. I, I really like those karate trainers. Some of their, like, when, when you get down to the super details of when they punch, and then they punch, and then they punch, and then they turn around and they punch with the same hand they just punched with, that bugs me a little bit. But unless you're a karate person, like I am, it's, yeah, see. Oh, wait. This is gonna be, uh. Oh! Jesus! This is gonna be a. We're probably gonna go through this part pretty quick. I mean, honestly, that's the goal. I kinda wanna get. I would love to get over there during this, but I, I highly doubt we'll get there in this episode. So we'll have this episode and maybe the next one or two, and then we'll be at the battle tree. And then I think we'll do all of the Ultra Beast episodes. Actually, hold on. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can pick up some health. Boyle, you setting up on me, boy? You setting up on me? Don't you set up on me, boy? Don't you set up on me, boy? A little bit. Coil into switch. We got stratagems out here. I said, I'm going to scare him into thinking I'm going to stay out by using coil. And then I'm going to pull back. Brock is too heavy to be lifted. Let's freaking go. Let's go, Brock. Let's go, Brock. You eat them cookies. You eat them cookies, Brock. Uh, a Lolan Marowak or regular Marowak? Doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, but what I was saying was I should have done this before I did episode RR. But it took me out of it. If it would have left me here and given me the option to fly back... I probably would have done this first, but the fact that it was like, you know, whatever, whatever, next day. If you remember, after we caught the stack attacka, it brought me back here, or it, it no, it took me back home. And, uh... But this should be pretty simple. We should be able to get through this pretty well. Because I was thinking about it when I, like, at the very end of my grinding, I realized that I was probably supposed to go through this way. Already out here? Not interested in any encounters right now. Oh, I see that tree shaking. You want a little t what does that say? Tete a tete? Tete a tete with the Z powering user? User? Oh! Is that a villagin? No. Uh, I almost said it. 
I almost said Petalil, but... Level 56 Petalil, huh? Give me your life. Hmm. This did good. Duck, dive, dodge, du ah! Okay, let's head up this way. I'm pretty sure I remember there being a trainer. Bad when I come around. Go up here. Ah! Ah! Yes, Stardust. Funny. What is that? I remember that cave being there. Whoops. Oh God, is that a cop? Oh crap. I'm. It wasn't me! What are you looking for, yo? This sounds like Team Skull, doesn't it? Team Skull dressed up as freaking police. Police officer sheriff. My boy has a stout limb. My boy has a stout limb. Alright, well. I'll smack this stout limb. I always forget Pokemon that have... I always forget Pokemon that have Intimidate. Half? Half. Cool. And then a non-intimidated Pokemon. Oh, yes. I was concerned that I wasn't going to Oka it. Or to co it. Are you for real, yo? Yes, officer. I apologize. I did not mean to off your direction. I apologize. I hope you will forgive me and not take any further measures to apprehend my behaviors. I will think about this day and night and will not let it happen again, sir. Just casually have an Aerodactyl. Actually, this guy, Hiker, Hiker looks like, I mean, he would be the kind of person to have an Aerodactyl, right? That makes sense, doesn't it? Here's Crunch. I'm gonna do like, what? Oh, you got a crit. Every time I, that's good though. When my brain tells me like, oh, that was too much. I mean, that means that I'm, I understand Pokemon a bit. I'm trying to get into competitive, as I've said a couple times before. I am making an effort to get into competitive Pokemon. That sells for a lot of money. So I would absolutely say that was worth it. Okay, let's figure out what's in this cave up here. Because this isn't... It's time. 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 Oh, it's time. Oh, it's time. Oh, it's time. Yes. 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 Yes.
next episode. <laughs> next episode. Because I could see myself using that as the, uh, the thumbnail. But I already have the thumbnail picked out for this episode. That's what kind of, like, breaking the fourth wall. I don't have space, okay. Breaking the fourth wall, like... When I go th as I go through episodes, I try to come up with what the thumbnail will be. But I'm not always successful at that. Oh, crap. Sometimes it takes me, like, the scyther? Okay, did not look like a scyther. Why is Frisco up front? Did I just switch Frisco up front? I don't remember doing that. Pony Meadow. Why are you- oh. oh, I know why they're here! I think I saw something about this! I don't have their voices. How are you, Domino? I heard you became the Alola Champion, congrats! While you were getting stronger during the Island Challenge, you were looking into the Z Power Ring. It's so mysterious. You'd be talking about evol magic evolution here in a region so far away from Kalos. We are trainers. Rather than explaining it all in words, why don't we show you what mega evolution is? In a double battle? Why? That was a mixture of gonna be wow and why, and it just came out as why ow. I knew this thing was gonna have Shadow Ball. What the heck am I thinking? I also knew it was gonna outspeed me. What the heck am I thinking? Go ahead, do it again. Go ahead, do it again. No, no, no. Go ahead, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Okay, I was I really wasn't sure how much I was gonna Hold this punishment. Now sometimes I feel like I understand speeds, and then sometimes I just don't. So what's he going to Mega Evolve? I'm scared. I not remember his team at all. Mega Raichu! You know what Mega Raichu would look like? Mega Raichu would probably look like Pikachu. Can we talk about the obsession with Pikachu? Please! Set up a light screen. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Why are you Steven's like son? Does Steven have a son? I know what you're gonna do. I know you're gonna mega evolve. Why didn't he mega evolve? Also, how do I outspeed anything? dead. There's no way it lives that, but I don't know if I just wasted my Z move. He's level 60s. I should be fine. Low King, I'm staying in. 
And let's go with a good old Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade! Oh crap. Don't use Shadow Ball. Why would you have Flamethrower? What? You're a Water Psychic type. Why do you have Flamethrower? And who's Dexio's Mega? I am, I'm concerned. I want to be like Sableye. Oh. Like I said, I... Excuse me. I think I wasted my Z move. I should be fine. I should be fine. Plus this thing has like overheat. Should be dead. That's how we do it here in Alola. In Alola. That's how we do it. They heal me all the way back to full. My Pokemon each gave it their best. I've been doing evil voices for so long. <clears throat> the trainer holds the Keystone. The Pokemon holds the Mega Stone. That's how you can make your Pokemon Mega Evolve during battle. You can use the Mid Z Power Ring, so you must be able to use a Keystone that makes Mega Stones resonate. If you have a Keystone, you'll be able to make your Pokemon that hold a Mega Stone Mega Evolve. This is a Mega Stone that that makes Alakazam Mega Evolve. It's called Alakazite. I'll give the Keystone and Alakazite to you. I can Mega Evolve now! Alakazam! You know, when you think about it, the Z Power Ring helps the feelings of a trainer reach their Pokemon so it can use the move as Glokata. It only follows that it should be able to achieve Mega Evolution too. We'll be taking our leave for research now. Bon voyage! They were literally only in this game. getting wild man there's so much to do I'm just trying to end this series by episode 100 excuse me gosh that's so unprofessional oh no oh no oh no <laughs> I'm happy that there's more to do, but why him? There couldn't, there wasn't anyone else that wanted to come to Alola? Hold on, can I fly back here? I can, perfect. Alright, but well, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode right here. I keep thinking that we're going to be on to just side quests, but there keeps... Winding up being more and more. It looks like Pony Grove. I think there's a couple things, if I remember correctly. Pretty wild things up to the left here. And over to the right, we just saw, a, we just caught a glance at someone that I really don't care too much for. But we're going to continue on that in an, another episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, which I thought was absolutely wildly awesome, containing... The end of Rainbow Rocket. I really enjoyed it, as I said during the episode. We fought Getsis today, we fought Giovanni today, and we made it here and found the Comonium Z. But we did not use it today. In the next episode, we will be using our Comonium Z, and I don't know exactly which way we're going to head just yet. Again, if you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button, do subscribe, and become a member of the Domination. We'll see you for the next episode of our Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. Until then, have a blessed day.